Welcome to the Washburn Weekly Webcast. Graders, this message is for you and it's concerning the ACT for all. I want to show you a handy test prep um, application that you have on your Google Chromebooks. Let's take a look. I want to show you the test nav application that you'll be using to take the test and it off also offers you um, free practice exams in all four of the multiple choice sections. When you open up your Chromebook, it usually looks like this. Instead of signing in using your email address, what you'll do is you'll click on the lower left hand corner where it says apps and go up to test nav. Most of the Chromebooks it'll be the third one up, but for some of you it might not be, but it's called test nav. We're on the screen and you see right here the ACT. You want to go ahead and click on that and again it will take a, a, a few seconds to load. Down here it says practice test. Click on that and you can take a practice test in the English, Mathematics, Reading, Science, and Writing section. This might be something fun to do when you're at home with nothing else to do. I think it's always important for you to practice before you get started with anything new and that being that this test will be online and kind of a high stakes deal, it will be helpful for you to practice. There are additional test resources on the testing website off of Washburn's um, main page and feel free to stop by the Media Center and ask for any additional resources or the CCC or your school counselor. All right, 11th graders, good luck. Hi, I'm John McCreary, your librarian here at Washburn, reminding you that our reading challenge for the month of March, our March Reading Madness has begun. And right now I'm reading Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury, famous science fiction author about burning books. It's crazy. Anyway, if you want to look, stop by the library, you can see we have a bunch of recommendations from your staff, from your teachers, and your fellow students have recommended books. So stop by the library, pick up a book that somebody's recommended, and then after you do that, go to the Washburn website, click on uh, reading, like record the pages or minutes that you've read. If you click on that, and then you just fill in your email address, name, and grade, and title of the book, author, and just hit next, fill it out. And then we will give you an update next week about how we're doing compared to South High School. It's a competition, friendly competition with South and Washburn to really promote reading for the month of March. Thank you very much. Hey Washburn, it's Hannah in the Career and College Center and I wanna to talk to you guys all about Genesis Works. I've got my lovely friend here, Hodo. Um, and she is a Genesis Works young professional. And I have some questions to ask you, Hodo. So first, have you been happy being a Genesis Works young professional intern as a senior? Yes, I have been happy being a, being a young professional at Genesis Works. Because um, during the summer, I made a lot of friends and also gained a lot of skills as well. I love it. Making some friends, gaining some skills in that professional world. So, Hodo, why do you think juniors should apply for this internship opportunity? Um, they will become a young professional at a young age. Mm -hmm. and also gain a lot of scholarship. Also get an internship mm -hmm. at a company, which is really great. And with, like I said, making new friends. I love it. I love it. Well, if you are interested in applying for the Genesis Works internship, juniors, you can sign up for an info session happening this Thursday at 1.05. Learn about the opportunity. You're going to be able to earn around $15,000 in your senior year. So sign up in Naviance or come into the Career and College Center. Thanks, Odo. Welcome back, Washburn, to another magnificent Miller. Let's see who won this week. All right. All right, I almost left again. 
All right, this week's winner is Sloan Carden for respect and integrity. Sloan can be counted on for helpful insight during our class discussions. She has also demonstrated thoughtfulness and poise during a December forum, someone who makes our community a better place. Great job, Sloan. Magnificent Millers always make the community a better place. Great job. Hey Millers, this is Paige, and we're here to do Staff of the Week. Miss Diamore, Miss Abraham, you won Staff of the Week. How do you feel? So excited. Yes, very excited, especially because we were nominated by our wonderful clerk, Koo. Yeah, and we yeah. get to share it together, which is exciting. Yes. That's so fun. What's your favorite part of Washburn? The students. Yeah, I would second that. The students and staff makes it feel like a family. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. I'm John Dolan. I'm Walter Van Dyke. I'm Ambrose Myers. I'm Connor Walstead, and we qualified in the 200 free relay for state. It's at 6 p.m. on Friday at the U. Pop out, Gene K. Freeman Aquatic Center. We'd love to see you there. <laughs> On Friday, we have beef chili and hot dogs with potato wedges. It'll be 27 degrees that day. On Monday, we have chicken parmesan spaghetti and roasted carrots. It'll be 29 degrees that day. On Tuesday, we have honey chipotle fish tacos and coleslaw with pinto beans. It'll be 35 degrees that day. On Wednesday, we have a pasta bowl with toppings that are peppers and broccoli. And lastly, it'll be 31 degrees that day. Have a great rest of your week, Washburn. This has been, been a, a moment, moment with Washburn, Washburn Weather and Miller Meals. Meals.